What's up everyone, this is Grimmery Pesagia, so this is my 3 minute review for Icona Island. Shout out to PR company Plan of Attack Biz who are kind enough to give me a code to review this. So yeah, so this comes out on the 21st of the 3rd, 2024. It is £18.99. There is no PS5 version, there is only a PS4 version. I did play this on my PS5 though, so yeah, let's get into this. So characters that you meet in the world and everything all have their own look and own personality to them, which is really cool. Controls are really easy to pick up and understand, which is nice. It's a nice chilled out game, it's nice and relaxing. There's no like, you know, urgency or time restraints or anything, so it's kind of a nice little chilled, cozy game. Um, there's a nice amount of build, farm and tame. As you can see, there's like a creature running around with me. You can tame them and then you can basically transform into them. They level up as well, which is really good. Um, story's really interesting and fun. Has a nice art style to it, I quite liked it, it was kind of like a nice cartoony esque vibe. Um, the island's quite detailed and there's a lot to do on the island, there's loads to find from like, you know, caves to uh, frog shrines where you put frogs on them and then you can use them to unlock stuff and loads of stuff like that. Couple little negatives for me was, um, it can be daunting as there's a lot of steps, like in order to build some of the items you'll need to get like, um, leaves and then transform the leaves into uh twine and then transform the twine into rope and it's quite a lot of like steps to it so it can be kind of daunting uh the characters that you play as that you can choose at the start you can swap between them basically just by walking up to them they don't have any like abilities or special talents which would have been more enjoyable just because you know one of them's like a pig person. It would have been kind of cool if like, they had a sniffing ability or something like that. Um, and the combat is a bit awkward as there's no real lock-on or roll mechanic. So it's kind of a bit clunky-ish to say uh, when you're fighting. Overall though, I'd put this as a weight on the cell. You know, like I said, it does have the characters do meet uh, are cool and everything. They do have their own personality and everything else. And there is loads to do and farm and that. However, like I said, you know, it can be a bit daunting because there's just an awful lot you have to do. And the characters don't have any sort of special abilities, so there's no real reason to swap characters or try different characters. Um, and like I said, you know, there's no lock on it. It can be a little bit, bit awkward. As always, I hope you find this video helpful. If so, please check out my blog, which is www.garylodgegamesview.game.blog. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. It helps an absolute ton in getting more codes for games like this and other stuff. As always, any questions, put in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all soon.